Hello everyone, this is Com Science for you. In this puzzle video, we are looking to find the top 3 fastest horses in a group of 25 horses. We are trying to find out how this can be done with the least number of races. Can you solve the puzzle? Let's find out. Here are the details about the puzzle problem statement. We have a total of 25 horses. We are looking to find the top 3 fastest horses out of the lot. The restriction that we have in place is that we cannot race all the horses at once. We have a racetrack that only has 5 lanes and thus we can only race 5 horses at a time. What is the minimum number of races in which we can find the 3 fastest horses among the lot? So how do we go about solving this problem? You can pause this video here and try to solve this puzzle yourself. The solution to this puzzle coming up in the next part of this video. There are many solutions to this problem which solve it using a multiple number of races. First, let us look at this solution which is quite naive in its approach and uses quite a large number of races to solve this problem compared to the optimum solution. This solution works on the following approach. We keep racing the total number of horses that we have and then keep eliminating the horses that appeared 4th and 5th in each case as these horses could never be among the top 3. Let's see how this works out. After the first 5 races, racing all the 25 horses, we end up with a total of 15 horses who ended up in the top 3 in each of the respective races. So now we are down to the top 15 horses after 5 races. We then race the 15 horses in another 3 races to eliminate the 6 bottom horses and end up with the 9 top ones. We then race this 9 in 2 races of 4 and 5 horses each and then we get the top 6 horses. We split these 6 horses into 5 and 1. Race the 5 horses then take the top 3 horses from that race and race them with the 1 horse that we separated earlier. Thus we end up with the top 3 horses. Notice how this is a naive solution and we are not using any data from the earlier races to predict the outcome of the current race. We are just considering each race as a fresh race. This solution gives us a total of 12 races which is a very huge number of races for the small task that we have been assigned. Let's see how we can do this better. Of course there exists a better solution than the one mentioned before. This new, better solution is based on a small insight. We are anyways assuming that a particular horse takes the same time to complete the race every time we race it. This insight takes this a step further and states that if a horse A is faster than another horse B and the horse B is faster than another horse C, then if A and C were raced together, horse A would definitely be faster than the horse C. That is, we are applying the transitive property to the speed of the horses. Let's try to solve the problem at hand using the insight that we have come up with. Here is what we have after the 5 races A, B, C, D and E. Let's name the horses according to the races that they participated in. We have also arranged them here in the order in which they performed in their respective races. 1 being the fastest and 5 being the slowest. Thus. A1 is the horse that stood first in the race A and E5 is the horse that stood last in the race E. But we still do not know the comparison between the groups A, B, C, D and E. Here is the master stroke that we are going to play in order to solve the puzzle. Doing this will let us apply our insight to the problem at hand. We take all the winners of the first 5 races and then race them with one another. That is, our 6th race will be organized between A1, B1, C1, D1 and E1. Let's see how that helps us. This is what we have after the 6th race. Let us say that the outcome of the race was this. A1 followed by B1, C1, D1 and then E1 came in last. Using our logic of eliminating the last two horses in each race, we can conclude that D1 and E1 cannot afford to be one of the top 3 horses as a1, B1 and C1 are evidently faster than them. But wait a minute, from the first 5 races we already know that D2, D3, D4 and D5 are slower than D1. Thus, using the transitive property, they too cannot be among the top 3 horses. Same applies to the group E as well 
and now we are left with this. Extending this logic a little more, we see that C1 came in third in the sixth race. And as we know C2 and C3 are slower than C1, they too cannot be among the top three. Extending the same logic to group B. B1 came in second in the sixth race and thus B2 has a possibility of coming in third overall. By this logic, B3 has no chance of securing the third position in any scenario as it is slower than B2. Thus, B3 is eliminated as well. Give it some time, let it sink in. We eliminated lots of horses out of the competition. The only ones still contending for the second and third spots are A2, A3, B1, B2 and C1. As we know that A1 already has the top spot. Now all we need to do is hold one more race, a race among A2, A3, B1, B2 and C1. From the result of that race we will have our final result. The horses that came in first and second in that race will end up second and third overall after A1. And that is it. With the help of just 7 races, we are able to determine the top 3 fastest horses among group of 25 by racing them 5 at a time. So what did we learn today? We learned to apply the transitive property and how applying a very simple insight to an otherwise lengthy problem leads to an optimal solution. Do subscribe to this channel for more such insights to improve your problem solving skills. Check out our other awesome videos. Like this video and share it with your friends to see if they are able to solve this puzzle optimally. Let us know in the comment section if you have a better solution to this problem. See you in the next video. Until then, keep learning.